Hey guys, Mike Olasky here at uh, Olasky Martial Arts in Burbank, California, here with another kickboxing combination for you. Uh, today's kickboxing combination is going to be a pretty basic four count, and it actually is inspired by the last of the glory tournaments, Glory 14, uh, in Croatia. Um, that was starring Mirko Krokop as like one of the headlining events, but we're actually going to be studying a knockout punch in the Jacobi Pereira fight. Uh, Duke Rufus explained this motion as a kickboxing 101, so it is going to be pretty basic, but the basics are basics for a reason, because they work. We do them here all the time in class, so let's get to shadow boxing and see how this breaks down. Okay guys, as always, we're going to start by shadow boxing the combination. Again, it's just a four count, so it's pretty basic. What we're going to do is start off with the jab, move on to the cross, and then we throw that rear knee in. You want a mid-level rear knee there, around stomach level. And then you're going to bring that knee all the way back and swing in the hook. So that's the combination in a nutshell. Jab, cross, rear knee, bring it all the way back and throw that rear hook. Now a couple keys to remember here is when you're throwing this knee, you're going to want to reach out and touch someone with your punches, actually grabbing perhaps even the back of the head if you can manage that. So your jab crosses are going to be very long. You're reaching out for them because eventually you're going to want to grab with these extended hands. When you knee, you bring back the knee and let the motion of that knee coming back really gear into that hook. So you're, so you're not just hooking with your hand, but you're actually letting that mo momentum swing you all the way through and you have your entire body behind that hook. So once again, with the combination, jab, cross, Rear knee, bring it all the way back for the hook. Turning to the side, jab, cross, rear knee, bring it all the way back with the hook. Now, you saw a little bit of with body mo momentum and body motions, how fight theory comes into work with this. This is actually going to be more applicable in the next section with our pad work as well. Um, we'll explain to you how exactly the, the kick facilitates, or excuse me, the knee facilitates the knockout with the hook when we get back. Okay, moving on to pad drills so that you guys can actually drill this in with a little bit of force and get used to the uh, actual combination. Um, once again, he's just holding focus mitts here. We jab, we cross, he holds for the knee, the knee comes in, and hooks. Get used to this motion, really pepper him out. Again, as you bring that knee in, bring it back and allow that drawback to facilitate that hook. One, two, three, four. And that hook should be nice and, nice and hard because that's what we're going as far as the, that's where we're going as far as the knockout goes. Couple ideas that you guys might want to work with. Once you get this motion down, feel free to start laying in the knee with a pullback and then a hook. So it's one, two, pull in, hook, one, two, pull in feeling especially spunky, you can just jab cross to the jump knee to the hook. One, jab cross, jump knee, hook. Facilitate that jump knee with an enter. I can go one, two, knee in, and then hook just like that. So really work out this combination. You can get really fast with it, fast with it a couple times. Good. Get, that, get those reps in, get some cardio in. Now we'll show you how to apply it in sparring. Okay guys, so moving on to uh, practice, practice work or practical application. Um, the idea of this, of the reason why this works so well as a, as a you know, MMA or, or kickboxing 101 drill is the idea is that the knee is used to facilitate the drop of the guard and then the knockout comes from the hook exposing the head. So when I throw the knee, he can either do a full guard with it using his elbows to block himself, and then that punches in. But even if I, I'm successful with the knee, the impact of that is generally going to cause his head to expose itself, and then that hook comes in. So when you're playing around, you throw, you go one, two, three, and then you take advantage of that swinging motion. And that's actually where it happens. You can also take a step back, use that jumping knee drill or entering knee drill that you did in the pad training section. Use the jab cross as an enter. One, two, three, I fly in and then that hook comes along. So it goes one, two, flies in and hooks. 
or you can just do it straight here, one, two, get his guard down with that knee, and then that hook gets thrown in. There's another way that we can actually do this for you where we stop the backup using the cage or the ringside. Let's look at that from that. All right, guys, now the other way I like accomplishing a move like this is utilizing a cage bounce or a ring rope bounce. Um, basically, you're chasing your opponent back and you're using the compression of his body um, against the elasticity of the cage or the ring and uh, taking advantage of that bounce as it comes back. So actually what I'm doing is I'm chasing him into a corner or into the ringside. He bounces off. I time that bounce so that he bounces straight into my knee. The impact of the knee causes him to drop his hands in the first place, and then that's where the hook comes in. So if you have somebody on the run and you, having, and you have good ring sensibility, ring awareness, and you know you're going to be chasing him into the side, utilize that bounce. It goes one, two, he bounces off, time that with the knee, and then that's where the hook comes into play. The impact against the cage hits against your knee, which causes his arms to drop and him to expose his chin, and then that hook comes into play. You can also do this, obviously, with the corner. Um, it especially works well when your partner has less ring awareness than you, are, than you have and uh, finds himself bouncing into the ring harder than he would have thought. So once again, the combination is jab, cross, rear knee to the hook, and try to time it with that one, two, that bounce, and then hook. Okay? Be very careful with this. The sternum is one of the weakest bones in the body. The last thing you want to do is crack your partner's sternum. Unless you don't like him, then it's your partner's fault, not yours. Jab, cross, one, and two. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I sure enjoy doing them for you. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and share it, subscribe, all of that jazz. Even more so, I implore you guys to kind of come down to uh, Alaska Martial Arts here in Burbank, California, and check us, check us out. Um, we do get together for all of the kickboxing and UFC fights um, just to have some fun. Oftentimes, we'll do uh, lessons beforehand so you can really get a feel of what to look for when these fighters are actually doing what they're doing. Um, even specific fighters uh, and, and the types of styles that they tend to do. We'll go over them with students so that they know what, what to look out for. Um, then we'll go out and have some fun together and, and, and watch them and review them and things like that. Um, so, like, subscribe, all of that jazz, come down and see us, and uh, we'll see you next time.